1540, in partnership with Noom. Good morning, it's Friday, June 26th, and we're covering stubborn jobs numbers, an astronomical breakthrough, and Supreme Court ruling on deportation. Hmm. Need to know. Job recovery slows. Just under 1.5 million people filed initial unemployment claims last week, as the economic... (coughs) <coughs> Excuse me. As the economic fallout from the ongoing panic remained stubbornly high, it marks the 14th straight week claims have been above 1 million. The pre-pandemic, the pre-panic record was just under 700,000 set in 1982. Despite the figure, continuing claims, a more accurate measure of current unemployment, uh, fell, fell below 20 million. The government also reported a 5% drop in GDP rate in the first three months of the year, the worst quarterly report since a fall of 8.4% during the 2008 recession. But that that can't come as much as a surprise. And hopefully it's going up, though probably slowly. The news comes as the economy braces for a spike in coronavirus cases, which eclipsed the April peak for new daily cases yesterday at more than 39,000. I talked about this in the sports video, and I'll say it again here. Uh, The more people get it, the less people are going to be getting it in the future. We're getting it over with. Okay? This is not necessarily a bad thing. Herd immunity. In Texas, in Texas, Governor Greg Abbott <clears throat> paused the state's efforts to reopen amid a surge in hospitalizations. That's good for the hospitals. Test positivity has risen more quickly than new testing capacity, indicating the virus is still spreading, though the daily death toll remains substantially lower than its April peak. Because those less at risk are the ones that are getting it now, I'm guessing. And those are the ones that should have been allowed to continue living their lives before, you know, the healthy ones. Because that's, though they're the ones that are responsible for the herd immunity. (sighs) They all... They all were deceived into thinking that they were protecting the weaker and older and other at-risk people by staying home and not going out. But that's not what happened. That's not how you protect. In, in an epidemic, that is not how you protect the weak. You do it by getting the disease over with while they go hide and then you can't give it to them when everybody emerges. Health officials estimate nearly 20 million Americans have contracted the virus, much greater than the 2.3 million reported cases. More than 124,415 deaths have been reported in the U.S. as of this morning. But that number is greatly exaggerated because of the way that these deaths are reported. It doesn't matter what you died from. If you had it, it's reported as a COVID death. And that is not scientific. That is a terrible system. See, I'm moving three-day average here. Light from a black hole merger. Astronomers likely observed a burst of light emanating from the merger of black holes for the first time ever, researchers announced yesterday. The discovery may reveal new insights into how and where such events occur throughout the universe. One of the enduring mysteries of science, black holes are ultra-dense collapsed stars whose gravitational pull is so strong Even light can't escape if it travels too close. The objects don't emit light and have only been seen by imaging their shadow. When two of the massive objects merge, they send out ripples in space-time, but no light. 
Scientists have hypothesized that in rare instances, a merge may happen in gas swirling around a third supermassive black hole, causing the gas to heat up and release bursts of light. The new study marks the first time this phenomenon has been observed and could lend support to the theory that black holes tend to cluster in regions where gas has accumulated. Supreme Court strengthens deportation powers. Oh. The Supreme Court upheld yesterday the Trump administration's ability to deport people seeking asylum without having their case heard by a federal judge. The 72 decision reverses a lower court's ruling and applies to undocumented immigrants who fail initial asylum screenings and are thus eligible for immediate deportation. Okay, good. So they fail. Okay, just let's be clear. They are not people who truly should be given asylum. They're just ones that are like, hey, I need asylum. But it's just because maybe their life sucks and they want something better. But you have to do it the right way. Asylum applications where migrants seek legal entry due to persecution or violence in their home country quadrupled between 2000 and 2016, but have fallen in recent years. Recent years, that's because the Trump administration has been tougher on what what uh what is allowed in roughly three quarters of applicants pass initial screenings however less than 20 percent of migrants from mexico and central america which comprise the vast majority of undocumented immigrants heading to the u.s are eventually granted asylum see an overview of what happens when a migrant arrives at the border here that's a whole other problem when they're coming from anywhere other than Mexico. Because when you truly are in need of asylum, you're supposed to stop. You're supposed to, you, you leave your country and you request asylum in whatever country you've just arrived in. And that's where you stay. If you're, if you're traveling like the caravans, if you're traveling through multiple countries expecting that you're going to get to the United States and then ask for asylum, then there's no way that you should get it because that's not the way it works. Separately, the administration filed a brief yesterday, fi oh, filed a brief yesterday urging the court to strike down the Affordable Care Act. Excellent. Fit and focused all summer. Noom. Noom. Like a cow. Because fat people need noom. Noom. What's your guilty summertime pleasure? Is it sipping margaritas on your oversized swan pool float or daily greasy barbecues? As the weather warms, balancing what makes you happy and what keeps you healthy can be difficult. Thankfully, Noom is here to help us all ease into the summer with a free trial. Noom is a program that uses cognitive behavioral therapy to help you meet weight goals and make them stick. Combining the power of technology and the empathy of real human coaches, Noom delivers successful behavior change and sustainable weight loss results without making certain foods off limits. Over 80% of current Noom users have lost weight on other plans only to gain it all back, but no more. Their psychology-based program teaches people how to identify and permanently change the habits that have been holding them back. Our editor-in-chief calls Noom the easiest and most comprehensive health program I've ever used with immediately noticeable results. Noom is nothing like a traditional diet. Give it a try today for their free trial. Please support our sponsors. I have considered using Noom. Just the whole money thing. Yes, I am one of those cows. Yes, I admit it. And I'm not happy with it. But at the moment, I am supposed to be big because I'm making a baby. So, no dieting at the moment. But, try Noom today. In the know, sports, entertainment, and culture. The 2020 New York City Pride Parade, the 50th anniversary of the first New York City LGBTQIA plus celebration. I don't think the acronym had 
all of those letters when they did their first one. No, definitely not 50 years ago. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. It will be held virtually this Sunday. See full details and how to watch. Oh, no, thank you. Um, Australia and New Zealand selected to host 2023 Women's World Cup, beating finalist Colombia for the soccer tournament, which will expand to 32 teams. The Dixie Chicks changed band name to The Chicks in response to the ongoing Black Lives Matter movement. It just doesn't have the same catchiness. Disney's famed Splash Mountain ride to drop Song of the South theme for The Princess and the Frog. Okay. I'm surprised they even still had that. Science and Technology. Three new studies show use of the CRISPR gene editing tool in human embryos can cause unwanted on-target mutations near the DNA target site. Oh, you better not do that then. CRISPR 101. New algorithm allows drones to learn acrobatic maneuvers like barrel rolls and flips, pushing the autonomous craft toward more human-like flying behavior. I don't know if that's really a good thing. Second worst Ebola outbreak on record declared over in the Democratic Republic of Congo after two incubation periods passed with no new cases. Outbreak saw 2,280 deaths since August 2018 business and markets. LeBron James and business partner Maverick Carter raise $100 million for Spring Hill, a new media platform for empowering black creators and audiences. How, How nice. Nice for them. German fintech firm Wirecard files for insolvency amid $2 billion balance sheet inflation fraud, trading in shares halted after freefall. Pizza arcade chain Chuck E. Cheese files for Chapter 11 bankruptcy to restructure $2 billion debt. Hey, I have an idea. They should be bought by a black entrepreneur who can then be funded by LeBron James and his little project right here. But I guess it doesn't cover entrepreneurs. It's just for creators and audiences. So not for people who actually do something. <clears throat> Politics and world affairs. Defense authorization bill advances in the Senate, setting up a fight over, over a requirement for military bases named after Confederate leaders to be renamed. Yeah. Senate passed. There's a there's a there's a, an amendment that's been introduced by a Republican senator whose name I don't remember right now. Uh, about making the decision to change the name and what to change names to, making it like a public forum type of thing, where it's discussed with the military families and the communities in that area, and I think that's a pretty good idea. Senate passes sweeping sanctions against Chinese individuals and entities over the country's crackdown on Hong Kong. Bill heads to House. Mm, okay. House passes wide-ranging pol police reform bill while negotiations stall in Senate. See list of police reforms across the country since the death of George Floyd. United Nations says seawater is seeping into a decaying abandoned tanker off the coast of Yemen, threatening to release an estimated 1 million barrels of oil into the Red Sea. Why is there a shit ton of oil over there? Is there something wrong with it? Well, I guess now that it's mixing with some seawater, but why did you just leave a million barrels worth of oil in a tanker? Abandoned. What? Why? In depth. Sickle cell success from NPR. Nine months after becoming the first person in the U.S. to have their genetic disease treated via CRISPR, sickle cell patient Victoria Gray is thriving. Cool. Beyond the pain matrix. Medium slash one zero. Inside the Daylife Amy. Daylife Army. The sec social media cult. Convincing young people to give up everything. 
Never heard of that. Four ideas on police reform from Vox. Oh, this is going to be good. Both protesters and police advocates agree that police forces are asked to do too much. Here are four ideas from experts on how to rethink policing in the U.S. Editor's note, here are five more ideas in shorter form from the Manhattan Institute. Eh. Nah. Boss of the Beach from New York Mag slash Intelligencer. For four decades, one man has overseen one of the most unlikely rackets, the New York City Lifeguarding Corps. Trigger thought, action, consequence. The experts at Noom help users identify the behavior chain behind their unhealthy habits. Trigger, thought, action, consequence. This can help you gain a better understanding of where, you're, where you struggle and how you can make positive change. Noom's health and wellness experts also spend time addressing mindfulness as it relates to eating, physical activity, and general health. Mindful choices mindful eating, intention, and attention. Try weight loss the noom way today with their free trial. Please support our sponsors. Etc. Notice the word black is now being capitalized. Here's why. But white isn't. Use this interactive map to see if you live in a news desert. Ranking the top innovation ecosystems across the globe. From our partners. Did you know what Intel, CES, and other cool tech businesses have in common? They all use .tech domains. Learn about .tech and use code TECH499 for a 90% discount on your purchase. And what is this for? Stack Media. Get .tech. Get dot tech. There you go. The Eiffel Tower is now back open for business. Awesome. Bats have never sounded so enchanting. Meet Augie, the oldest ever golden retriever. Dead people received more than one billion dollars in coronavirus stimulus. I heard about that. That really sucks. Congressman can't sue over tweets from a fake cow. Okay. Clickbait. This former quarterback is on the hunt for a chicken serial killer. That would be Jay Cutler. History book. Francisco Pizarro is assassinated. 1541. Sports great Babe Didrikson Zaharias, born 1911. Berlin Airlift begins, 1948. JFK delivers famous Ich bin ein Berliner speech, 1963. Supreme Court legalizes same-sex marriage in U.S., 2015. The formula for success is simple. Practice and concentration, then more practice and more concentration. Babe Didrikson Zaharias. That's a good quote. Enjoy reading. 1440. Thank you, 1440. That's all for today. Look, there's 1440. In partnership with Noom. Goodbye.